So we're going to enjoy the most fabulous instruments that created the sounds of bluegrass. Gentlemen, shall we? Go. Very uh, 
quite a few less five strings than anything else. And this is a late example. It features a, it's kind of a raised head tone ring. Even though it doesn't have a cast tone ring, it has a quarter inch brass hoop for a tone ring. This was relatively a student model when it came out. And they made them look uh, extra fancy with the pearloid fingerboard and the pearloid resonator in the back. And I think it sold brand new for about $60 a month, if I'm not mistaken. At one point it got that high. This one's identical to the one that the Earl Scruggs played in the earliest recordings of bluegrass music with Bill Monroe, so it's kind of special to me that way. That's it's mid 1930s, 1936, 37. It's hard to get. Yeah, when Earl first came to Nashville, that's what. That's the band he brought with him in Nashville, and, and like I said, made the first recording for the yeah. Monroe. Yeah, exactly. And over here, Chris has. You want to tell him about this one? I, I, yeah, I don't know too much about it. Uh, I'm. I, I came unprepared. I, I've flew down and, and have my, my new guitar. Tony was gracious enough to bring some incredible old guitars, uh, so please fill in any gaps. But this is a uh, 1934 D18. Uh, it's a really cool guitar. It's got bar frets, which, uh, you know, Martin guitars up through 1934 uh, all had bar frets. You know, the modern frets are T frets. They're a little easier to play, but uh, bar frets, Bar frets kind of have their own unique sound. Uh, they wind up compressing the neck in a different way. And uh, it's just a, a great guitar. It looks like um, yeah, it's had some, some work done on it. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but it's, uh, it's just handsome. And I think that is the most beautiful color known to man. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. They only made 79 D18s in 1934. That was the first year of the 14th fret mark. And this is the, uh, the industry standard. This is the, the 34, this is the famous Clarence White guitar and the Tony Rice plays. Third, that's actually 35. Well, it's true. But it's it's early, early 35. I stand corrected. Yeah, exactly right. Well, this is a genuine 